Hello, my name is Dark Setup, and this is Who Wants to Be a Murderer? A game by Coding for Artists on Itch. The synopsis reads, Who Wants to Be a Murderer is a psychological horror game set in a TV game show straight out of the 90s. You'll face a series of challenges that will put your morality and sanity to the test. I'm considering to work on a full-fledged version on Steam. To stay updated on the project and more, join the Discord. Okay, let's do this. Enter name. Warning, sensitive content, simulated violence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome one and all to the twisted spectacle that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligent seek diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Next up, straight from Barry. <laughs> Termination of a true gamer. Our wild card persistent dark side up. Oh my god, it's me. Hello. Ready to shake things up. And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction. Hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echoes through the night, we have the in inscrutable Edgar Darkwork, Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back and relax and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is, the, this is where we separate the wheat from the chaff and the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test and every correct answer will swell your, your coffers by a handsome $10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Time to shine, dark setup. Questions here. In the Middle Ages, what deadly disease spread by fleas on rats killed an estimated 25 million people in Europe? The bubonic plague? And the answer is... Correct! Yay! The bubonic plague, where rats played Santa Claus and gifted boo-boos to, <laughs> to all the good little boys and girls. Nothing says holiday cheer like a festering sore. Here we go, Richard. Question time. In medieval Europe, what was the name given to the outbreak of the bubonic plague that wiped out a significant portion of the population? The answers are Black Death, Red Plague, Spanish Flu, and Scarlet Fever. My guess is Black Death. And the answer is correct. The devastating bubonic plague outbreak in Middle Europe, medieval Europe, was famously known as the Black Death, leaving a trail of death and despair across the continent. Next up, Sarah's question. What is the average blood volume in an adult human body? Answers are 6 to 7 liters, 8 to 9 liters, 10 to 11 liters, 4 to 5 liters. I know pints, isn't it eight pints? Four to five liters? And the answer is... Correct! Okay. An average adult human body contains about four to five liters of this crimson, crimson, crimson fluid. Just enough to sustain life. 
or to paint a rather macabre picture. Edgar, here's your moment. Who is the infamous serial killer known as Jack the Ripper? The answers are... H. H. Holmes, B. Unknown, Jack Unterweger, and Ted Bundy. Unknown. And the answer is correct. Wonderful. Jack the Ripper remains one of history's most notorious unidentified serial killers, terrorizing the streets of London in the late 19th century. That concludes our first round of mind blending, mind bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors. But don't wander it off, my lovely, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame. With a knife, of course. My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. So, Dark Setup, are you ready to continue, or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's Wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy absolutely free. Now, it's time for our first minigame of the evening, where the contestants' courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the, of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. At the end of the timer, the contestant with the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin. What? Lowest. I'm the lowest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. That's me. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding as us a dude tonight is none other than me. Dark set up! Oh no! Ending one of four. I died. Okay. Let's try that again. What substance was famously used in ancient times to preserve bodies for eternity? Tar. Wrong! Egyptians used natron, natural salt mixture to preserve... Is it natron? Natron. To preserve bodies during the mummification process. I've never heard of that. Okay, Richard, what do you got? Which infamous cult leader orchestrated the mass suicide of his followers in Jonestown, Guyana? Answers are Charles Manson, David Korish, Jim Jones, Marshall Applewhite. Is this the Kool-Aid guy? Jim Jones. Sad. Leader of the People's Temple cult orchestrated the tragic mass suicide, claiming the lives of 900 people. Deepest trench in the ocean called Java, Puerto Rico, Tonga, or Mariana. It's the Mariana Trench. Well, it's the deepest trench in the ocean, shrouded in darkness and mystery. The pressure could crush even the toughest of souls. Who was the notorious figure associated with the legend of Dracula? I want this question. Vlad the Impaler, Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, or Ivan the Terrible. It's Vlad the Impaler. 
Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula, inspired the infamous bloodthirsty vampire of legend, casting a shadow of fear across Castlevania. You just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. Oh, you can. I don't know if I can do this. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll throw it together. You really think so? Okay, let's do this. What about him? With this knife game coming up, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Stakes makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Slow and steady. Going faster. Ooh. Okay. Sarah's out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is none other than... Sarah! she die? That sounded like a buzzsaw revving up. Things just got serious. Now the game truly begins. Here we are, let's continue with the show. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Where the contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will, who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Conscious. Conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Ah, Dark Setup, here's the question. Ultimate power is yours, but you lose your humanity. What's your decision? Except with conditions, embrace darkness for power... Willingly sacrifice humanity, reject power, value humanity. Oh, interesting. Power without humanity, a tantalizing offer for the bold and heartless. Ah, Richard, here's the question. You witness a group of teenagers vandalizing a historical monument. What's your reaction? The answers are... Ignore it, join in on the fun and leave your mark, provide evidence to authorities, intervene and try to stop the vandalism. Ignore it. Oh, interesting. History in the making or history being erased. Edgar, here's the question. You must save one family member or 10 strangers. What do you decide? The answers are... Save the strangers, save the family without hesitation. Flip a coin, fate decides, let fate unfold naturally. Let fate unfold naturally. Interesting. Family ties or the needs of the many. Alright folks, that wraps up the second round of questions. My, 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 have we peeled back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned after the short break. We'll reveal the two finalists of, the twisted little, of this twisted little game. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, 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 well. Things are about to get interesting. 
The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. All right, let's talk to Edgar. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. What about Richard? So it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? No. Edgar, the champ, he's trouble for me and for you. I'd, it'd be risky for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Huh. I don't want to play dirty. Actually, I don't want to play dirty. So, Dark Setup, are you ready to continue? Or do you have another... Or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Welcome back, folks. We're alive again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at the incredible price of zero dollars. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated and there'd be no winner. So, think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Alright, let's get down to it. Dark Setup, who are you voting for? Richard. Richard, what about you? No hesitation, Edgar. And finally, the champ, Edgar. Richard. Alright, we have a winner for, or should I say, an eliminated contestant. Richard, you're out of the game. Alright folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of this show. And that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer is in this final round will earn you a whopping 25,000. But enough chit chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Uh, dark setup. Here's the question. What is the estimated time it takes for a human body to completely decompose in soil? And the answer is wrong. I don't know. Six to eight years. In nature's embrace, human bodies return to dust, erased by time and time's relentless march. Next up, Edgar's question. What is the approximate volume of blood loss that typically leads to death in an average adult human? Answers are 5 to 7 percent of total blood volume, 20 to 30 percent, 10 to 15 percent, 40 to 50 percent of total blood volume. 10 to 15. Wrong. Life's essence, a delicate balance, loss of 40 to 50 percent blood fade into the abyss of death. All right, folks, it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will exchange in a duel filled with thrills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a shotgun. I'm sorry, but even you can't escape the inevitable. Good luck. I'm ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We are about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Astronomini and a synchronous multiplayer where you can explode the universe. Discover a name over 10,000 constellations and guess what? It's absolutely free. I mean... Who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? Ladies and gentlemen, 
and his team finalists. Perhaps by now, you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the ninth minigame. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assess whether you know the method and if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action! And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a shotgun and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Let the festivities begin. Everybody's applauding to their death. Oh my freaking god. Murder! Stop ducking. Stop ducking. Stop ducking. Why are you ducking? Why are you duck? Don't duck. Don't duck. Just just sit there quietly, please. Oh. Woo! I win. All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their um, valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than... No, please, don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Dark setup. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill, and let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So, without further ado, let's crown our murderer and be and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of. Huh. Ending two of four, a hollow victory. Okay. Final thoughts. This was a very enjoyable game. I would like to see more of this. I congratulate the devs for doing such a fantastic job. This was quite entertaining. I really enjoyed myself and I wish there was a little bit more. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.